Meteorologist Matt Rudkin joins us now. And Matt, you've been tracking this storm, and I know right now all eyes are on Florida for this yeah, upcoming week. Exactly, Alex. And unfortunately, this is going to dominate the news cycle, probably beginning tomorrow and especially into next week. Here it is. It's just a tropical storm with wind gusts around 45 miles an hour. It is Milton. It's a name you're going to hear about again for several days. I'm going to put the uh, latest track for the National Hurricane Center in Miami on here as we roll through the next couple of days by Monday night, likely already a category two storm. The latest track on this from the National Hurricane Center is a major category three by Tuesday evening, and then it makes its way to western Florida uh, as we head towards uh, probably Wednesday midday. The conditions will start to deteriorate quickly Tuesday night and into Wednesday. One quick note about the cone of uncertainty here. The the upper edge and the lower edge is where the actual center of the storm may be, and that's where the worst conditions are. Notice it's I mean, that's a 250 mile swath there. As we get closer to the uh, midweek, this will start to consolidate a little bit and we'll focus on where the actual impacts will be. I know there's a lot of you with friends, family and second homes in this area. We'll certainly keep you updated through the rest of the weekend and this week. These are called spaghetti models and looks like spaghetti noodles. These are trying to show you where the focus is for the storm. And again, these will start to consolidate here over the coming days. This is just one model. I thought you're running it through the next couple of uh, days here. Here we are midweek and then by uh, Probably again Tuesday night, Wednesday. That's when we're watching for the storm to impact Florida. All eyes on this and we'll keep you updated over the coming days here.